For Allison, this would be just another film. It's got these guys, uh, you know, trapped in a warehouse. It's a pot boiler. It's a great action adventure film. It's a goddamn tit slasher movie. See anything you like? You want to keep on doing art? What does art ever pay you? Tits! That's what sells. For low budget producer Ozzy Felcher, shooting at the Lincoln Street Studios would be the opportunity of a lifetime. That place has been condemned for the last year. I heard they were going to tear it down. Until the owners arrived. He's locked us in. And decided to make them pay. Shut that thing off. I said shut it the fuck off or I do a documentary on the inside of your asshole. Haven't it sunk in on you people yet that this is serious? didn't go in there. The thing that they wanted to know was about the black door. Obviously, there was something there that they didn't want us to see. Here, come check this out. OK, folks. <laughs> I hate your fucking movies. What did we do? <laughs> you disappoint me. No! And we just knew the answer to the question. No. We have to get out of here. Have you got a gun? I know you don't really want to hurt me. Detective Bob, this is my partner, Detective Jim. How you doing? <laughs> when Jasper came to L.A., he expected to find movie stars. I brought your breakfast. That, my friend, brought me to revel in evil. Beautiful women. Were the expensive whores Mr. Vincent sent for? He's just gonna watch. Fantastic nightlife. And California cuisine. Don't you think it might be just a little bit overcooked? What he got was a job he hated. You don't want the world to know about your little disfigurement. Oh, no! A girlfriend who hated him. She's trying to ruin my life. You'll never get rid of me. She sounds like a real bitch. And a great house on Paradise Lane. It's not just lonely, it's paradise. <laughs> <laughs> the rent is cheap. We like to make our properties affordable for desirable tenants. The neighbors are friendly. Uh, so wrong. Don't be a busybody. And it's in one of LA's finest neighborhoods. I don't want to hear anything that you have to say. There's just one problem. <laughs> One big problem. Oh, Troy. Troy's home. You must be Troy. We think the world of Troy. It's a small world. A little too small. We give Troy whatever he wants. The guy he kills people and he dismembers them. I'm afraid Troy doesn't take much to rudeness. Maybe I'm getting too old for all this. Come to Paradise Lane and see where California dreams end. Life Among the Cannibals, starring Kieran Mulrooney of the Spitfire Grill and Gettysburg, Juliet Landau of Ed Wood and the Grifters, along with Wings Hauser of Original Gangsters and Tough Guys Don't Dance. I think you might want to remain unconscious from now on in. Damn straight. Life Among the Cannibals. Rock and roll. If there's a price on your head, he will find you. He just
just can't go around killing bad guys. If you're hiding out, Bats. he will bring you in. Oh. I didn't even introduce myself, did I? Michael Dudikoff is... Jersey Bellini. Bounty hunter. Yeah, I'd like to report a robbery in progress. But he's about to make the biggest bust. Freeze! There was a problem with the jewelry heist. Oh, and the biggest mistake of his career. I've run over a hundred jobs like this in my lifetime, and not one of them went bad. We gotta do something about it. This time, the bounty is on him. Somebody's after me, they're trying to kill me. We have to get rid of the He's got to figure out who's after him. They're playing hardball. Michael Dudikoff. Tony Curtis. Lisa Howard. If I thought it would do any good, I would kill you myself, Bolini. Hardball. I need to hear it. A word of warning. I want to hear it. Let me hear it. Do you hear it? I hear it. Martin and Doc. Everybody, this is Doc. The doctor, you're the best, right? More than best friends. You love me. No, I need you. That's, that's a big difference. Closer than brothers. You got great talent, kid. And you too. They need each other. You got the skills. But this thing, man, this is a chance for me to change my life. Doc takes Martin into the world that gave him a career. I mean, from the minute I read this book, I knew for sure that we could turn it into a movie. I need a sexy, violent picture. A world of people you can't cross. Oh, so they kill him to shut me up? You owe a lot of money to pretty dangerous people. Ricky is tied in with the studio. A world Martin could always walk away from. I like what's going on between the two of you. It's charming. Until the night she came into his life. Let's play. Come on. Let's play. And took his heart and got between him and his best friend. Hey, you act like there's nothing going on between her and me. Are you sure you want to hear this? Tell me. <gasps> now, there is stuff going on inside this woman that we need. There is more to the story than you can possibly imagine. I don't give a shit whether you change their names or what. But to be players in Hollywood, they've got to take the big chance. You want to move up? You do something great. What did I tell you? It's gonna get us killed. The big score. Hollywood is like this big bank, but there are no men with guns. There's no one watching the gold. You know, if you ask for a lot, expect it to cost a lot. The big danger. If I don't get this movie made, he's gonna kill me. The only thing standing in our way right now is her. I can take you off this project anytime I want. Why do we fight? Because of her! I am not the enemy. Timothy Hutton, Joe Pantoliano, Michelle Burke, Chaz Palminteri, Tony Goldwyn, Richard Dreyfus, Sybil Shepherd. The last word. You want to shoot me? No. I just want your attention.